Welcome back to another coding video. Today we're going to be doing a very big sum problem from HackerRank. Uh, this one's going to be nice and simple. It's almost the exact same as the simple array sum problem that we did. But in this scenario, the elements in the array that we're going to be adding up are potentially very big. So let's go ahead and jump right into this problem statement right here and figure out what's going on. So it says calculate and print the sum of the elements in an array, keeping in mind that some of those integers may be quite large. Okay, so let's take a look at our constraints because that's what's going to be the most important thing in this problem. Uh, so we can see N here, which stands for the number of elements in the array. And we, so we can see there's going to be at least one and up to 10. And then we can see the actual elements themselves are going to be greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to 10 to the 10th. So that's going to be, uh, at a maximum, 10, 10 to the 10th elements. So because we're doing this in C sharp, this isn't uh, quite as big of a deal as some other languages like C or C++. Uh, but we do have to keep in mind what data type we choose to hold things. So it's giving us a, a handy note down here. And so let's look at this, the range of the 32 bit integer, which is typically the, the standard size of an integer, um, you know, only goes up or only can hold between these two ranges. And so what this hack rank problem is trying to do is make you realize that further on, once you start doing harder coding challenges, this is going to become quite an issue is picking the right data type to do the job. Because what happens is, is if you go over what your data type can hold, you'll end up getting some really funky numbers because the bits themselves will start changing in unexpected ways. Um, so the main thing with this problem is not only adding but making sure that the data type that we choose to hold the sum is going to be big enough to hold the maximum possible value which will be 10 10 to the tenths added together so a long is what we're expected to return in this function that we're writing a very big sum and you can see that the array coming in ar is an array of longs so because we have these constraints and stuff we know that a long is going to be fine if we were going to be having just if AR was a complete mystery, we had no idea what was coming in, how many elements, then we would probably have to assume that they could potentially go all the way up to the maximum storage of long, in which case we would not be very well off by just choosing long for our sum storage. But because we have those constraints, we can do that with uh, some confidence. So just like in our first simple array sum, we'll just go ahead and make a variable called sum that we will uh, initialize to zero and, and we'll go ahead and make a for loop that goes over every element in AR, AR dot length. And we'll say, the element, the ith element in AR will add that to sum. And at the end, we will return sum. So that is pretty much it for this one. Let's go ahead and run this code. Make sure we don't have any compilation errors and we'll clean it up a little bit more. 
Cool. So if you remember from the simple array sum video, or if you haven't seen that, we were taking advantage of the fact that we have access to the link library, which gives uh, some extension methods on arrays and some other things. And one of them happens to be sum. So really, we can get rid of this for loop. And instead, we'll just call sum on our array. I'll run this code to show you that it's still working. Cool. And really, uh, we could leave this because it does give, I guess, a little bit of readability. Or we could just get rid of sum, that middleman variable, and just uh, return ar.sum. So when you use sum, sum will give you back, uh, I believe it gives you back a return type matching the type in AR, if that makes sense. So AR is an array of longs. So when we call sum on AR, it will give us a long. If this was a list of integers, uh, we could not do AR dot sum because that would give us an integer back and we would probably run into some overflow issues. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.